Hey guys, Ryan Gill here with Hunt Primitive, and today we're going to talk about napping Keokuk. I've got several pieces here, things you're going to be able to see, look for, and nap through. And this video is again one specifically for my website, huntprimitive.com. You're seeing it on YouTube, but really we're linking this video from YouTube to the website so people that are looking at the Keokuk can decide if this is the right rock for them. So with Keokuk, you're going to see some different sort of patterns within the rock and so I've got some great examples here to show you sometimes it's going to be just pretty darn white creamy smooth looking not a whole lot to it and then you're going to have stuff like what I call rice inclusions and that looks like it would be really hard to nap but this stuff is all heat treated and so as you're going to see here momentarily this stuff naps really smooth right through it it just adds some sort of depth to the rock we'll see if we can't get you a better look at that so that's what I would call like the rice inclusions on it not a big deal and then occasionally you get some stuff like this it's kind of like paint splattery or spider webbing looking stuff and again you can nap through that stuff as well and then this one's a little bit rougher looking overall and the reason I chose it is because I want to show you how nice it cleans up but it's got what we would call like lightning bolts kind of running through it see that there so that makes for an interesting looking pattern and then this is the outside so the cortex but the Kia cook doesn't really have like a thick cortex like a lot of other rocks do it's really really thin and actually it's not so much of a cortex as, at all as much as it is just the outside of the rock and how it's been patinated so we're going to I'm not and you're probably wondering what the black stuff is honestly I have no idea what that is but that's going to nap right off it's probably not going to be on the inside at all but we're going to pull you in like we normally do and then we're going to just kind of take some flakes off and clean these up because I know a person who would look at something like this and say you know that's not a, a really good napping rock but again remember this stuff is heat treated so the way that it looks on the outside changes when you well what it looks on the inside changes when you heat treat it and it looks like this until you hit it so let's bring you in and let's take a couple smacks off of them and then you can see if this is something that you would like to work all right so we've got our pieces here and we're just going to set them down and work through them pretty quickly one at a time then uh, in this video we're not going to make a complete point but we are going to link up another video where we do like our typical sit down napping sessions where we'll take a piece of Kia cook and then we'll nap it into a blade or a point or something. But this one is just to get you an idea of what to expect for napability. This piece is actually pretty thin, so we'll run some of the thicker stuff so we can show you running some longer flakes with it. And this is just kind of the more creamy smooth stuff. And it naps really good. No issues with that whatsoever. Whoop, I didn't snap that one. That's my fault there. Not supporting it. But that's fine. We still got a great uh, arrowhead size piece, atlatl size piece. See, really nice flakes we can run across. I face out just a little bit for you so you can see what to expect. There we go, really nice flakes there. So this stuff is really user friendly overall. It's really good for anybody. This is a pretty good beginner stone as well. So it's not terribly hard to work being it's heat treated. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to, to flake it. And it is fairly consistent. And because it doesn't have, there we go, real quick kind of biface that out. So it's a nice little little point piece there and uh, because it doesn't have a thick cortex on it it's it alleviates one more issue that some beginner nappers have a hard time with so this is that one that was a little bit more rugged and it's got some of that rice kind of stuff and then it's also got the lightning bolt uh, kind of streaks running through it and in some different rocks that you work when you see stuff like that that's places where hinges typically happen or breaks happen and that's not necessarily the case with Kia cook a lot of Kia cook just runs right over top of that stuff that they're not actually fractures 
Now what we may end up having is because it's on the outside edge, there might be some crumbly stuff that we're gonna remove, but then we'll find that right there in the core is a pretty decent piece of rock. Let's go ahead and just work through this one quick. This was the crummiest piece that we had, but still a very nappable rock, as you can see. And sometimes too, remember that the lightning bolts or the, the rice inclusion type stuff, that tends to make some of the prettier points if you like a little bit of diversity in colors and patterns. There we go. See, it runs that flake right across there really nice. You see that little flake right there? They don't terminate on those streaks at all. So we can really quickly just biface through these pieces. There we go. See, that was over that top of that cortex stuff. No problem. Really nice thin flakes. Maybe one more spot here I'll clean up and then I'll show it to you. There we go. That was a nice one. That ran pretty much all the way across. So now I'll do this side too. It's got a little bit of that black still on it. I'm not sure what that's about, but look at that flake runs all the way across all of that stuff. Not a problem at all. So I know some people are intimidated when they see uh, those rice inclusions or lightning bolts. And that's why it's important to do this video so you know what to expect before you even start. So overall, pretty nice piece. So as you can see there, we biface through that one. Again, another nice point. And then there's some great patterning in there. But we had no problem running flakes over any of that. All right, we'll move on. We probably won't do as much work because this one's not too bad, but it's a little bit thick, so we'll break it down. Occasionally, you'll get a piece like this that's just a little bit thick on one end, but that's, again, not a big deal. Pretty easy to work. And this has a lot of that rice inclusion stuff and a couple streaks, and so we just want to kind of show you what that works what like. As you can see, it runs right across it. Pretty darn easy. I'm going to thin that big end out. In just a few hits hopefully there we go it's again it runs across pretty nice and in just a few hits we can clean that up and I got a little bit on this side to get through but as you can see it's actually not scary at all I remember the very first time that I ever napped Kia Cook, I looked at it and I thought, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to work this stuff. And then I was very surprised that you just run these really nice flakes right through all of that. And it just leaves a nice pattern. So again, there we go. Really nice small. And then our last piece, this one's actually really thin. I wouldn't be surprised if I snap it in the middle because it's, you can see how thin it is. I just grabbed it kind of randomly because I wanted to show you the uh, spider webbing. And it's, told ya, told ya, called that one. <laughs> that's right, there's still a nice little arrowhead in that one. And that's kind of normal. So you, any sort of really thin spot, if you've watched the other videos, especially if it's really thin and kind of concave, I'm like, as soon as you work those edges, you'll snap it in half. But you go from having one to now you can have two arrowheads so no problem not in my book anyway there we go work through just a little bit of that for you see glides right through it too so all of that makes for really nice nappable rock great for beginners and experts alike and it is something that I do typically recommend to people that are getting started simply because it, it is fairly uniform and you don't have typically you don't have a lot of 
really abstract pieces. So this is just random stuff that I pulled up right out of the top of the kiln after heat treating it. So there's uh, one there and you'll see like occasionally there's like, this is normal with any rock, little tiny like freeze fracture crack or something in it. Uh, little one right here on the edge. So that's all just normal. That's all gonna get napped away anyway. So not a big deal. Um, again, kind of got some of the outside edge going on here. This one, uh, you'll probably end up clipping that off anyway, but that would make a nice piece. And just totally random pieces. This is one that's just kind of been cored, cored off. A Little bit of a funky end on it, but that's easy as you saw with the big ends. We can just glide those right off with the bopper. Stuff like that, kind of the same feel, thing. You know, it's not terribly abstract. A little bit of a freeze fracture that comes around the corner, but that's gonna snap off. That's really gonna be your arrowhead right there. Uh, not much to say about that one other than it's just a pretty standard flake or spall. Same thing there, pretty standard flake and spall. Uh, outside edge piece, but still pretty darn good. It's a little bit thin. This is one that I would expect that when you're kind of working and cleaning it up again you might pop this one in half and end up with two arrowhead sized pieces that's just kind of normal a lot of times whenever i'm filling boxes if i see something like this i just pop this stuff into the box extra uh, just because i do expect that it's going to break and so once the box is full i'll look at that and say eh, it's a little bit thin you got some of the outside stuff to work with maybe they can use it maybe they can't and i'll just toss it in the box anyway otherwise it's going to go in my scrap pile so sometimes they, people think that that's, you know, that's the premium piece that they paid for when in reality it's just a little extra that we pop in the box. So again, this one here, people would look at this spot. Um, I'll show this to you real fast actually, and then we'll probably call it good. That's a good one to show. It almost looks like there's a crack running right down through it, right? Especially because there's like this little break that happened during spalling so it kind of gives you the impression that this thing's cracked all the way through and so we're going to show you that it's not that well from that side especially we can run a flake right through that but let me clean that up or raise a platform real quick and then we'll run this flake right across here and i'm not saying that there's never a freeze fracture in this stuff of course like any rock you're going to get you're gonna run into some. So there we went right across. There's actually a little freeze fracture here on the back side. But that cleans off really, really fast. So that about one more hit and that'll be gone. So all that stuff, not nothing to worry about at all. I highly recommend this rock if you like some patterning and if you like uh, just kind of consistent pieces overall. Honestly, some experienced nappers end up kind of getting bored with Kia Cook because it's so just consistent and it's the same thing kind of over and over and over. And there's not usually a lot of problems with it, but that's also one of the things that makes it kind of user friendly. So you can check that out uh, here on the website, Hunt Primitive. And we got this stuff. It's all heat treated up and ready to work.